everyone it's 12 minutes past nine o'clock welcome back to the program and stivers ford lincoln downright proud to salute great organizations in town all the time jackie and we have one here we want to definitely salute today that's right we have an event coming up a week from this saturday and it's a big festival that you ladies need to tell us about yeah, right Jean minahan and sharon brown are joining us right now tell us about the festival well the festival is called the multicultural fall festival because some of the acts that we will have uh, performing are from other cultures uh, it's been going on for a long time. The Friends of the Library had a fall festival for a long time. And then about five years ago, our neighborhood, King Irving Neighborhood Association and Mon Damon Presidential Neighborhood Association had some extra funds from Thrivent Grant. And we worked together with the Friends and we expanded it. So it's a little bigger event the last couple years. And then the last year or so, we added a parade. And so that's what we kind of want to emphasize because we've always we've had the festival for a long time, but the parade is kind of new and we've actually changed the route from last year it's going to start at the United Way building go north on 9th and then uh, west on Forest and end up at Forest uh, Evelyn Davis Park which is right there by the Forest Avenue Library okay just and kind of give everybody an idea of where this is all taking place so kind of over in that neck of the woods okay forest. yes it's uh, Forest Avenue and 9th Street uh, just a little ways north of downtown. Okay. It's Not bad at easy all. Easy to get uh -uh. to. All right, Sharon, what can we expect if we go to the festival? Oh, the entertainment's going to be awesome. We're starting out with martial arts wudu, and it's Anthony Bates is the instructor, so he's going to show us how to how to protect ourselves and they'll have a demonstration of some of their students. And also we're going to have some dancers. Uh, Stepperettes are going to teach us how to do line dancing, love dancing, so that's going to be very interesting. That's high energy stuff. Are you ready for that? I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. yes. I'm, I can do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> as, as I think about the, the fall festival, because the, the communities come together and they bring their special talents, the dancing, the drummers, we have the red lions that's going to be going through uh, the park and the children love it. We have the bounce house, we have games for them, and, and also one thing I do like is uh, we do a drawing in between the acts. So we're going to have music, we're going to have dancing, interaction with the, the community. So that's good. it's going to be great. And everybody's welcome to come. Yes. Kids, adults of all ages and sizes, come on that's out for right. a great event. Absolutely. It's a community event. If you notice all these festivals, which is awesome, mm -hmm. throughout uh, Des Moines, and, and people come and support each other. Yeah. So this is going to be great. We have something for everybody, the young and the season. <laughs> the season, okay, I, I like, like that, that phrase as well. I but Jean, like so this is the, the coming together of a couple of different neighborhoods, right? Yes, yes. Well, uh, we're emphasizing, uh, well, Mon Damon Presidential and King Irving Neighborhood Association have been involved. And then we have also kind of included Riverbend and Cheatham Park and Chautauqua Park. We're trying to get more involvement from different neighborhoods and different people. And, include, and the library is very much involved. And then uh, Jane Majors has a, she had a uh, what was it it's uh, Earth Day Earth Day yes. that didn't go because of the rain early in the spring so oh, okay. she's gonna move that event to part of be part of our uh, celebration well, so Earth also. Day turned into Mud Day is that the deal so <laughs> yeah, yeah so we gotta rain bring day. it over yes, yeah. okay. yes absolutely so we don't want to think rain September no. 12th okay from 11 to 3 oh, okay I'll We're break that down for sunshine. Jason okay. exactly <laughs> Talk 11 about to the 3 man. sunshine starting oh, about 9 o'clock Sharon's it's, ordering yeah. sunshine that works sunshine how much does it cost to come and be a part of this festival. There's no charge to no be a charge. part really? of it. That's yes. even better. No, that's even better, yes. And the Ice Ice Arrets will be part of the parade, and then they'll be the first uh, act on our program. And uh, everybody always uh, loves to see to the death. Ice Ice They're so much fun. Yes. Just, so when does the parade happen? It starts at 10. Okay. And then uh, it will go to the... Uh, uh, down the path down we the talked path, about earlier. Right. Okay. It goes up uh, north on 9th and... West on Forest. Kind of and so we invite to people to come and watch the right. parade. You know, we're going to have the Ice Ice Reds. We'll have the uh, some people from the police. I think there's going to be some motorcycle people. There you go. Um, Rick uh, Singleton, who w works at the Y, is kind of in charge of the parade. So the Y is involved, yes. the Grub Y there close Perfect. by. And the, and the parks, uh, Evelyn Davis Park, the people that work there, staff that, are very involved. And so... It's pretty universal area for particularly our part of the city. Okay, so when this ends up, Sharon, where's everybody going to be gathering? Where's going to be the, the final gathering spot? It'll be at 1400 Forest Avenue, Evelyn Davis Park is where everybody's going to meet, and Forest Avenue Library, mm -hmm. so that's where we're going to be at. Starting at 11 o'clock, the entertainment starts, music, food, dancing, so it's going to be great. And, and nice, 
weather. And nice weather. Okay. Something you don't want to miss. It's so a week from this Saturday, absolutely. watch the parade and then head over for a great festival. That's right. There will be a lot of exhibit three. tables too. Oh, yes, Different right. uh, nonprofits will be there to talk about what they have mm -hmm. to contribute and how people can uh, use their services. So. So if you're looking for something to do on a Saturday, something yeah, a little bit different, this might over. be the, the perfect thing for you. There you go. I'll Wonderful. be looking for everybody. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Well, okay. Thank you for inviting us. Thank it's you. It's 19 minutes past 9 o'clock. We'll be back. This is Great Day Live on KC.